Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera. Good day everyone. I am Dr. Nurziana binti Yahya from Faculty of Computer and Mathematical Sciences, UITM Aral Perlis. These are my team members, Dr. Huda Zuhrah A.B. Halim, Dr. Nur Fatiha Fauzi, Dr. Nur Izzati Khairuddin and Dr. Nur Izzatul Sharfinas. So the title of my presentation today is Parent Teacher Associations Mobile Applications PTAMA Ptama to enhance communication among PTA members during COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, these are the outline of my presentation. I'm going to start with the introduction, followed by problem statements, research objectives, literature review, methodology, design and development, preliminary findings, and close with the conclusions. Okay, as introduction, the COVID pandemic has further accelerated the transformation in education. So, Parents Teacher Association, PTA, are also being impacted by this phenomenon. So, based on Clause 3 of the Education, Parents and Teachers Association Regulation 1998 under the Education Act 1996 provides that one of the purposes of the establishment of PTA is to provide a forum and services for the welfare and progress of students in a school in improving the image of the school. So the function of PTA is to assist the school in various activities for the benefit of the children who study at the school. Therefore, a special mobile application called PTAMA is designed to help PTA plays a greater role in contributing to the success of educational transformation and also to further enhance communication among PTA members. Okay. PTAMA basically gives a new transformation to the PTAs in the form of communication and more dynamic organizational management in following the mainstream of the world today and in the future. Right? Okay, next is problem statement. Okay, uh, the emergence of uh, the COVID-19 pandemic has led the government to take action for a movement control order MCO since March 2020. So, as a result, many PTA activities in school became paralyzed due to communication constraints, resulting in ability to conduct discussion and decision making by PTA committees. And also, the pandemic has slowed the government's efforts to achieve its transformation education system goals. Therefore, this study aims to develop a special mobile application called PTAMA to help PTA plays a greater role in contributing to the success of educational transformation and also to further enhance communication among PTA members. Okay, these are the objectives of the study. First one, to identify and analyze the problem of PTA during pandemic. Uh, the second one is to design and develop a web-based PTAMA prototype that able to promote remote communication and activities of PTA, especially during uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And the last one is to assess uh, the acceptance of uh, the PTAMA prototype through an online survey. All right. All right. Next is a literature review. Um, basically, uh, this study responds to the Malaysia Education Blueprint 2013 to 2025 uh, regarding the transformation of the Malaysian education system, uh, which is to increase the involvement of parents and teachers in efforts to empower PTA members to play a greater role in contributing to the successful development of the education system. Okay, so uh, Melvin 2020 uh, in his study mentioned about uh, the function of the PTA, uh, which is to assist the school in various activities for the benefit of the children who study at the school. And also, apart from that, PTA also has the role of seeking contributions uh, from members and also the public, whether in form of money, materials, or energy for the benefits of students. All right? Okay, for mobile application development, uh, Basically, uh, this uh, study adopts Lean Startup as a methodology because uh, this method uh, suggests a scientific way to start startups. And this method requires a minimum viable product MVP concept to
to start up mobile application development and uh, to quickly build and launch the application at a lower cost. Uh, this is all also mentioned by Silva and Al Ratrao, uh, 2020 and 20, 2019 in their study. Okay, okay for the methodology. Um, Okay, this is uh, the Lean Startup methodology used uh, in our study, right? Uh, which is uh, Lean Startup methodology requires a minimum viable product, MVP concept, all right? Uh, which I mentioned in the previous slide. So, we start with the ideas, right? Generation of ideas is basically based on the presence or emergence of problem. And next is build the must-have functions of a product or system to solve the problem. Okay, uh, and next uh, is to uh, produce a product or system with limited functionalities. And then we measure the acceptance uh, and the usefulness of the product or system. And then uh, after that, we conduct user acceptance tests and also expert review by online survey. And the last uh, one is uh, to fix the problem or improve the system features based on the feedbacks, right? For design and development, uh, initially we start our study uh, with an online survey. Okay, it is to understand the views of PTA members on the use of uh, mobile application for their activities. Okay, you can see uh, the bar graph below. Uh, it shows that most of the respondents are willing to use application. Right? Okay, and then uh, we start design and develop five modules of uh, Tama. It is for prototype implementation. And uh, the modules are parent, teacher, activity, communication, and report. Uh, you can see the Tama modules here. Okay, so next stage is the survey was conducted to measure the acceptance uh, uh, of the Tama application. Okay, and finally, the result of the study found and uh, almost all respondents welcome the use of Pertama and strongly agree that it should uh, be used by PTA and parents. So I will show you the result of uh, acceptance uh, survey in the next slide. Okay, but before that, uh, let me show you how uh, this Pertama application works. Right? How it how works. It works. Patama will make will communication, make communication between, PTA between PTA members, members faster, faster and easier. The main, the main function, function of Patama is to manage PTA, PTA activities. activities. Basic, Basic Patama features, features are parent-teacher parent registration, registration, activity, activity communication, communication, financial, financial and report. report. Other than that, all activities planned by the committee are recorded centrally and shared between the members via the Pratama mobile apps. Every activity or event will have status which can be monitored by PTA committee and viewed by teachers and parents. By having the finance module makes the PTA has higher integrity. Okay, these are the results from acceptance survey of Tama MVP or prototype applications that have been conducted on teachers and parents in uh, several schools. Okay, so it shows that 70% of the respondents are committee members and the Likert scale 4 and 5 are proceed uh, to agree that Tama is simple and easy to understand. Okay, so you look at the next graph. Uh, okay, next graph is to get a view uh, is result uh, to get a view on Pitama about the ability to improve communication among PTA members, okay? And the Likert scale also 4 and 5, which is, uh, it shows that uh, the most PTA members agree that Pitama can improve their communication. And the last graph uh, also shows that most of PTA members support the use of Pitama application. Okay. Okay, for conclusion. Uh, the COVID pandemic has further accelerated the transformation in education where digital technology is increasingly being used by PTA to communicate and share information. All right? So the result of the implementation of Tama MVP or prototype shows that it is able to provide uh, systematic and effective communication between PTA members. Okay? So it is highly recommended that a larger scale Tama be launched with the support of Ministry of Education. So, further study on uh, the Pertama product uh, features, uh, especially in digital payments and interface technology, can further enhance the use and effectiveness of the applications. Alright, uh, with that, I end my presentation.
Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and salam sejahtera.